So actually there are more Summer Magic cards, but I am not going to disclose exactly how many of each he has because these are basically one of a kind. I know that sounds kind of strange when I'm talking about more of them, but they are very rare. Um, if you don't know what Summer Magic is, you should Google it. But essentially between Unlimited and Revised, there was a printing and the printing was, they printed it, I guess they didn't like it, the colors were too dark, if you will, because the Summer Dual Lands, they have the same inking, the same darkness as Unlimited, and they look a lot better than Revised, let me tell you that much. But to my knowledge, there's less than 10 of 10 rares, and who knows how many people own this. So this collection that we're looking at right now is more rare, is more rare than anything Rudy Chan has. Yes. Rudy Chan, I do you have any of these? Cause uh if you're interested, I, I know uh I know the person would be interested in talking to you and perhaps moving them, but of course he's not gonna get lowballed Rudy Chan. He's he's not gonna get lowballed. He has people around him who know what this is valued at and they are trying to move it for a price. They have a price in mind. They won't tell me what that price in mind is. It's this kind of guessing game. But they have a price. And if you meet the price, then you can have the collection. If you not meet the price, then they won't talk to you anymore. And they won't consign to me. So it's a lose-lose, right? Like I mean, I would lose a ton of consignment money. So I got to be a little bit careful. He told me, hey, just blast it on YouTube. Blast it on Instagram. Blast it to the people online and see if there is any interest in this collection as a whole. So I've already started chatting with multiple people on Facebook. I posted this on Facebook Marketplace in Houston and people are going wild and they're, you know, I've gotten 15 people message me already. I posted it on my own. Uh, a lot of these seem to be kind of scammers, but some of them I actually know, I've seen in person. And uh, it's interesting to discuss, you know, what this collection is. And is he going to, he, he does not want to part it out. He does not want to part it out. And now people are trying to find, I mean, I, I think what's happening is people are now trying to find people to commission to. And then like, you know, it's basically, let's say this collection goes to $10 million. Well, there's bone there's meat on the bone for everyone involved in finding their buyer. So the buyer buys for $10 million. I'm going to get a 12.5% commission, which is $1.25 million. And then I'm more than happy. Like if you help me find someone, then I will give you the, you know, part of my commission and we're all going to make money. You know, I don't need to make 1.25 million, even though that would be pretty cool. So I don't know. There's no contract in place. I tried to get the dude to sit down and sign a contract. Uh, dude would not do it. And um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's summer magic. It's a complete set minus two dual lands, added two more wheels. You could take the cards right now. There's 22 lightning bolts. Let me repeat this again. There's 22 effing lightning bolts in summer magic. Something like eight demonic tutors. Like even the uncommon, there, there is a play set plus of probably five play sets of every common, maybe a play set, th there is at least a play set of every uncommon that's desirable. There are fa a few, ra there's four random uncommons that he doesn't have a play set of. And then there's almost one of every single rare. There's two undergrounds, there's two volcanics, there are free wheels of fortunes. And then there's some random rares like Farmstead where he has a bunch of those too. The guy literally just opened packs. That's what happened. He opened Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, and this very special product, Summer Magic. He opened packs, put them in sleeves, <laughs> and then forgot about it. Because he's famous and has better thing to do than play Magic the Gathering, I assume. And then suddenly, you know, he, he returned back to... So I will just say this. So I have said that this is a famous athlete. It's not necessarily true. But it's definitely someone that you would know that is from Houston. So the person told me to tell you it's a famous athlete, 
but I've seen this person and this person is not a famous athlete, but it's someone I recognize. I don't know why we're going the famous athlete route, but that's what we're doing at this moment in time. Um, Cause I got questions about that. I mean, it is someone that you walk that walks in and you're like, mm, are you blank blank? And then that person would say, yep, yep. And I was like, oh, so anyway, um, we have no idea what this collection is worth. I just put a $10 million. So I was told specific instructions, right? We're going to post this collection out. We're going to get feelers. Hopefully we'll get some emails and Facebook. It's, it's popping like crazy right now because we are interested. Uh, the person is interested and I am interested because I get commission in selling this. I mean, I would be happy with like a mil, a million dollars commission would seem pretty good, but I don't know. Is it a $10 million collection? It's not. I have to, what's going to happen now is I got an invite to go to this person's home. I will go to said person's home and I will make an inventory. I will also make a YouTube video. I, I think he, as long as I don't like show what his, the home is and you can't identify the seller, then I should be able to make a YouTube video of the, so I did ask him, can you sell me one? Can you sell me this? And then no, he's not, he doesn't, he wants one buyer. He wants the transaction to be incredibly smooth. He doesn't want to interact with that many people. He wants one buyer, boom, boom, done, done. Rudy Chan, you interested? You want to come to Houston, buddy? Um, I obviously, if I had $10 million, I would buy it. Now, again, I don't know if it's $10 million. I've only seen some of the, I've only seen some of the summer magic. I've been told that there is other summer. So I've seen a lot of summer magic. I've seen 1500 summer magic cards, uh, including two underground seas. Um, so, you know, and, and two volcanics and I've seen the bayous. I no, he doesn't have bayou. The, the two summer magic that he's missing is bayou. And then these are all legit too. And, you know, we check them, light check them. I mean, this is just his playset. So then he just kind of threw it on there. There is my playset. I was like, uh, he didn't even throw it on the effing playmat. Like there was a playmat like right up. He's like, boom, <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh my gosh. But I don't know. I mean, is it $10 million? I, I don't know until I see it because I'm being told and I have pictures you know, I obviously do I'm documenting this very well. I have pictures where, let me, let me open the picture folder I have. So I'm not showing you all the pictures because the dude just has so much stuff that it's unbelievable. Like in his common box, he pulled out 20 Mox Diamonds, 45 Mox and he's like, oh yeah, these are cool too. I was like, oh yeah, 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 that, they're pretty cool. Let me, let me pull it up. Let me give you a play-by-play -play of what I'm seeing in the thing. So he's got decks, he's got boxes, he has like 25 revised sealed boxes. He's got sealed kits. Okay, let me read you. He he has, holy shit, like, I think he has like, this beta, is this alpha? Um, I'm looking at some type of, I'm looking at a stack of dual lands from revised alpha and beta. So he put all his dual lands in this kind of clear protector. I don't know if I showed you that picture. I think it's, I'll put, if I haven't shown it to you, I'll put it in the last slide. It's a picture of a tropical island from, looks like beta. And then behind it is a stack of cards in a clear. That entire stack I'm being told is dual lands from revised. And alpha and beta. So he didn't even sleeve them. He just kind of put them in one of these. And you can tell this collection is old as hell because of the um, things that how he's sleeving them. You know, that type of ultra pro, pro sleeve was like one of the first in existence. Honestly, like I'm looking at the bulk, if you will. He said he has a whole room. Obviously, he really enjoyed magic and shorting it because it seems pretty well sorted. I'm seeing 40, 50, I mean, I'm seeing 40, 50 open boxes are revised just from one picture. Then I'm seeing another, you know, 25 sealed boxes are revised. And I think some of them, I, I don't know. Some of them could be unlimited. I don't know because I've never had an unlimited. So I'm looking at these pictures and I'm like, oh, I think that's revised. I don't know. Could be unlimited for all I know. Could be alpha beta for all I know. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, he's supposed to uh, come give me a call. And then we're supposed to figure out when we can hang out, when I can go to his home, 
when I can document things and uh, sell, sell on. So maybe I'll have a video. He definitely thinks the way that we should sell it is via social media. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to post a lot of this stuff on Instagram. Even though no one... I mean, not my MTG Line Instagram. I don't use that because I lost the password. But I'm sure that if I don't move this within a decent amount of time, what's going to happen is he'll go to another store and ask them, and then this would be bad. Or, like like he said, he doesn't need the money, but that's what all, all everybody says. He doesn't need the money. He just wants the collection to go to a good home. I don't know who has $10 million to buy something like this, but if you know... Rudy Chan, let me know.